Yo, what is up guys? Darkback again here on PS with some more uh, OU laddering. Um, using a different team today, actually one I used in my uh, OST games in uh, round 2 against Lyconic. Uh, game 1, and it's just sort of a cool Zardwai offense squad. Uh, well, not offense, but uh, kind of like balanced. But uh, Zardwai is just a kind of cool mod at the moment. Uh, I do like using it despite how much it misses for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think this team was originally made by Jamvad, so uh, credits for the team go to him. But I'm uh, just going to hop into the first game. As uh, we can get this going, and I'm going to move my Camtasia out of the way. <laughs> I don't know what that was up there. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I'm just going to pause until we get into the first one, because it might take a while. So I found a battle against Malware, uh, triple zero. Uh, PS is a bit laggy for me at the moment, so I do apologise for that. It's taken quite a while to load. Come on, go. Alright, cool. So, uh, Zard Y uh, plus T-Top, it's in, uh, a lot of work. Basically means that Zard Y can get a kill every time it comes in. Um, if I do predict correctly. So, I think, I kind of want to lead, um... I definitely think he's going to try and counter lead my Charizard and maybe lead Latias or something. Because if he doesn't do that, then Charizard just gets a kill off the bat. He may also lead Landorus. I can definitely see him leading Landorus and have a uh, Cobalion as a Stealth Rocker. Because I know that this carries Stealth Rock, um, from like, all your experiences, but, uh... It would definitely make sense for this to be uh, Scarf Lando, so I'm kind of tempted to lead Hippo and try and get rocks. To think of what I'm going to do, because uh, Kyurem can be quite annoying for this team, so... Uh, getting rocks up a limit the amount of times that that can come in, which would be good for me. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, he does lead Landorus, so I get that right. So, I'm um, assuming this is Scarfed, and just going to get up my rocks here. If it goes into Kyurem, that's fine, I can just go into Ferroth on the turn after. Um, unless he's some weird HP fire set, <laughs> which uh, could be possible since his team is uh, quite Ferro weak. In all honesty, I'm expecting this to be HP fire Laddie as well, but he just chooses to go for knockoff. Uh, not too sure about that play. Do I want to slack off here though? I'm not max. Big of defense. I think I'm just going to slack off here. The uh, reason I'm doing this is so that I'm at max HP in case his Bishop gets to plus two uh, at any point. Because, as you know, because you can't even knock off now. Uh, I think I'm just going to Whirlwind. He's actually not even Scarfed. Okay. What set is this then? Is this... No, it wouldn't be an Earth Plate because he would have gone for Earth Plate. Earth Plate, um, Earthquake. <laughs> Earth Plate, um... He might be like some weird four attacks or three attacks even with Shalati. He's kind of weak to Tyranitar as well, but I guess he has Cobalion. I'm tempted to Whirlwind here, but he's just going to defog, so if he gets Whirlwinded into something that's not favourable for me, that could be bad. So I'm kind of. Apprehensive to do that, but then again, going out the T doesn't really get me anywhere. Because his Landorus appears to be some weird defensive or offensive set that doesn't have rocks. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of confusing me. I guess I could go Charizard, but I don't really want to risk that. I think I'm just going to go Latios. I don't really care if he HPIs with me. He shouldn't, but <laughs> after this, I can just fire off a side shock and scare him out. If he goes at the bishop, I'm not too worried since I do have hippo in the back of the fall. He really doesn't have a switch for this. He might roost here. I think I'm just gonna side shock anyway, just in case he does roost. I don't really care too much if he goes at the bishop since. Well, he doesn't really have much of a reason to go out to Bishop here since he doesn't have hazards up and I wouldn't defog. So I wouldn't think he'd want to risk taking like the 70%. So he goes up to Cabalion, which is great. That actually does quite a lot. Um, I'm not sure how much Earthquake does, but I'm definitely going to go for Earthquake. This may have T-Wave, which could be really annoying, but I don't think I care too much. This Cabalion is just kind of annoying for my Tyranitar. And if I get this out of the way, then I can just spam Stone Edge from there, so... I'm definitely just going to go for EQ play here. I don't think it's going to kill, but I think it'll do like 50 maybe. 
Obviously, if it does kill, then great. <laughs> I'll just prevent it rocks. Alright, it does 44, so I've done less than. No, I didn't do less than Psy Shock, almost. But I'm not too worried about this since I do have Tentacle, which can spin against quite a lot of his team. Uh, I'm just going to Earthquake again in case he wants to go out of Bishop for whatever reason. But uh, Earthquake just basically gets a kill here unless he's Scarf Kirim. I could also Draco. But uh, I don't really want to take the minus 2 just to do 26 to Cabalion and then have something like Bishop come in and pursue me. So, um, I don't know, it's looking, looking okay. I can definitely just spin against um, Bishop or Zapdos. Which I'm going to look into doing soon because I really want my Charizard to put in work. Especially now that I know that he's not Scarf Lando, which is actually amazing. He's probably Scarf um, Kyurem. Uh, I really don't think he's going to sucker here, but I think I'm just going to go out to Hippo either way. Because he might be Pursuit, which would be kind of annoying, but... I'm not sure. Alright, he's not. Cool, cool, cool. He does just choose to sucker, which I'm not sure I don't really get that, because now I just get rocks again. And this is great because I can force him to defog, so I don't have to worry too much about spinning. I know, I'm looking in a good position at the moment. I'm just going to pause until he wants to make a move though. So he decides to go out to Landorus. Um, I guess we'll find out if this is Earthplate here. Uh, I'm just going to slack off just to see how much Earthquake does, assuming he does go for it. He may also go for like U-turn or knock off predicting Lati. It'd be awesome if he goes for U-turn. <laughs> Alright, so it does 40. That does a lot less than I thought it would. But I don't really want to stay in against this. I don't want to go into Ferrothorn either though, because that... I can't, I can't let Ferrothorn get weakened for Kirim. Um, I'm just going to slack off again. Because I'm honestly expecting him to knock off or U-turn here. But I don't want to risk being low enough for Bishop at plus 2 to KO me, so that's why I'm not going for like Whirlwind or something. But I'm honestly expecting a U turn or knockoff. If he wants to spam Earthquake, that's fine, but <laughs> I'm just going to slack off until he wants to U turn or knockoff. Because I think he's going to eventually. Lati getting a free switch in is really bad for him. Since I'm assuming he's not Pursuit Bishop. But I guess if he wants to just keep spamming it. Or just be the one turn that he goes for knock off. <laughs> that would be my luck. Right there. Ah. You could also go to Kirim here, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that one coming from a mile away. So I think I'm kind of forced to spin now. But he could be speedy. This is a really crappy situation for me. I kind of like have to go to Zillard Y and hope that he's not speedy. Because if he's speedy, he literally just beats the rest of my team. Apart from Ferrothorn, but I can't let that get weakened. Why'd you have to knock off the one turn I switch out? I have the worst luck with 50-50s, I swear. I just want to scare this Landorus out though, because it's really annoying. And I need to spin. He could also stay in and take a Fire Blast here. I wouldn't mind that at all. He does make the correct play though. And I miss, of course. Um, tempted to just double fire blast here, but I need this for Landorus. This is this sucks. This really sucks. Yeah, I'm just gonna double fire blast here because I don't expect him to stay in. If he does, then. I don't know. Because he might just Draco. 
but uh, hopefully this hits. Please hit. Nice. Ah, gone. Thank you. So I get that right, which is awesome. Because Landris was really annoying for my team. <laughs> What are you going to send out? You should go Ladias here, despite the 50 50 mind game. But uh, I guess he goes to Kirim, so this is looking like Scarf, just by the way he brought this in. So I'm definitely just going to go straight to Ferrothorn. He could Ice Beam, but if he's Scarf, it won't be doing too much. It'll be doing like 27 or something. I think Life Orb does like f around 40, 30. So uh, Ferrothorn's fine unless he freezes me, but he just does just go for Fusion Bolt, which is awesome. Um, attempted to double predicting his Zapdos here. I don't think I have much reason to predict that, but... I guess it also scouts if he's HP Fire, Kieran Black, despite... He sh well, he shouldn't be. <laughs> he really shouldn't be HP Fire, Kieran Black. He should be Scarf. Either way, I think Tyranitar's fine here. I'm predicting Zapdos. And either way, if he stays in and switches up moves, then I can just stone it to the turn after. Because any move he goes for can't KO uh, Tyranitar. So stone edge is free here. The only thing, thing he can go out to is Bishop, which takes like 40. And has very few switch-ins to it. And if he goes out of Bishop, then I can just go to Hippo, so it's looking good at the moment. Pretty sure I have this game. Alright, so he just sacks Zapdos, which is fine. So he won't be defogging anymore, so my hazards are gonna stay. Which is great, because Kirim is kind of annoying. Uh, not really, but it is just kind of if my Pharaoh gets a bit too low. Or gets frozen or something. So uh, that's awesome. He goes out to Ladias for some reason. I guess he wants to healing wish up his Kirim or something. He won't have defog, will he? Why did you go Ladias? <laughs> I don't understand this play. But I'm just definitely just going to stone it again because this is the only thing I need Tita for now. <laughs> I really don't understand why I did this. Done this. Oh, he's Mega. Okay. I still do it okay with you. <laughs> I did way too much. I thought, um... I think Mega should run a bit more bulk than that, but I'm not too sure if... I, I don't know, I don't know the roles on Stone Edge on Bulky, Latias, Mega, but I'm pretty sure it should not do that much. Oh, of course I miss. So, he's just gonna roost again here. So I think I can just go to Hippo and Whirlwind. If he is stored power, then it won't be doing anything because he's going to roost again here. I am mixed defenses, so even if I Whirlwind him out into like Bishop here, it's, I'll still be at a high enough point to uh, be able to take any hit, unless he flinches me with Iron Head, of course, which would suck, but. That's what's gonna happen. He's actually speedy, calm mind, which is kind of cool. I won't demand to cure him though, which is fine. Uh, I can just go. I'm actually gonna go tentacle here on a predicted ice beam. So just so I can try and spin, but he just forfeits. So awesome. <laughs> I'll take that as well. Uh, first game took like 40 minutes, which isn't great, but I guess that's how it is. Uh, it's a bit of a longer game, so. <sighs> but uh, yeah, uh, just gonna hop into the next one though. I'm uh, just going to pause until we find a game. So I've had a battle against uh, Burned Gliscor, and uh, I'm just going to wait for it to load. Go. No. Okay. Uh, this is an interesting team. It's kind of like offense, and then there's a Mew and a Rotom. But uh, Zard Y pretty much gets a kill every time it comes in. It does have Ladias, which can be annoying, but I do have T-Tar to pursue Trapper, so... 
Lopini's really annoying to this team though. Um, I do have Hip Out on, but like Power Up Punch on core sets can be really annoying. So I think lead, um, he's probably going to lead Lopini. Or Mew. If he leads Mew though, I can just go to Zard on that, so I'm just going to lead Hip Out on. Be a little annoying if he leads Landorus, so I kind of want to lead Latios. Latios has a pretty good matchup as well. I think Latios is fine. The only thing that Latios doesn't really beat is his Mew or his opening. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I guess I announced my hip out on. Well, not unfortunately because he lived with opening, but uh, I'm tempted to stealth rock here, but I don't want him being like Uncle. Uh, I'm just going to stealth rock anyway. It, it forces his uh, Latias to defog, even if he does uncall me, I don't care. But uh, he should fake out here, of course. Unless he doesn't have it. Which he does. So, uh, just the pure fact that he has fake out, I don't think that he's sub. Not sub, uh, Parrot Punch on call, because I don't think Parrot Punch on call even runs uh, fake out, which is great. So I can get out my rocks here safely. Um, he can go into Landorus. Landorus is definitely scary for my team. Since he can pr he can pretty much freely click knockoff from there if he has it. But he goes out to Volcarona for some reason. Uh, I don't understand Volcarona here. Unless he wants to attempt to Giga Drain me, but I'm just going to go Charizard. I'm hoping he doesn't have something stupid like HP Rock. <laughs> that would be really annoying. He should double. But uh, I'm kind of expecting him to just go straight for Giga Drain, expecting me to Earthquake or Whirlwind. As he does, so... I could double to Lati, no, to Titar here. I think I'm actually going to do that. And the reason I'm going to do this is because... Well, two reasons. If he's HP Rock, he'll blow me back. And his, also, his only switch in now is Latias, so if I can trap that, that would be amazing. And if he does go out to Latias, I'm probably just going to crunch. But it we quiver dances for some reason. I do not understand that play. Um, I'm just gonna edge. Hopefully I can connect. I really don't understand quiver dance though. I could also go Charizard here since it looks like he can't even touch me. But I don't really want him getting a fire blast off in the sun against Charizard. I'm pretty sure plus one volt doesn't KO. I don't think it does. If he has Bug Buzz, he might be able to, but Giga Drain definitely doesn't. But he has Giga Drain, so I think I'm I think I'm fine. I'm gonna just hopefully I hit here. If I don't, then I'm gonna have to go out to Charizard and take more damage, which would really suck. But he just switches for some reason. What's this guy doing? So I'm just Stone Edge again. Um, normally I'd switch out if I had a switch in, but this team is kind of annoying to uh, switch into Rotom. So I'm definitely just going to try and go for the second Stone Edge. Hopefully I hit. Like, I really, really, really hope I hit. Because <laughs> if I miss any Will O Wisps me, then I can't trap Ladias as well anymore. I can still deal with Volcarona, but uh, I do hit and I get a Min Roll. I literally got bare minimum roll. What the hell? What kind of roll is that? I got 47 the first time. <laughs> That sucks so bad, what the fuck. That's really annoying. Latias is going to be a lot more um, annoying now. Especially if it has like Roost or something, but I don't think it does. But he can defog freely, which is annoying. That was such a bad roll. <laughs> what the hell? Or whatever <laughs> happens. I mean, I can still trap Ladias with Tyranitar, and I'll probably crunch against it. The only way that this really benefits me is that he's probably gonna play Ladias a lot more carelessly now, so I can take advantage of that. Uh, he goes into Lopini. I'm definitely just gonna pull my switch into Hippo. I'm pretty sure High Jump Kick does not do it, KO. If it does, then this is Eevee wrong, because <laughs> it should definitely be Eevee to take two. So I'm hoping that is the case. 
And if he does have Ice Punch, then that's going to be doing less than high jump kicks, so I'm not really too worried about that unless he freezes me. Which I'd be really annoyed with. So he does actually have Power Punch Punch. Uh, power Punch Punch? <laughs> power Up Punch. Um, so he's more than likely just going to high jump kick here. This is Sand Force though, so I'm definitely just going to go for Earthquake. This is pretty much the only thing... Well, I only need this. This is the only thing I need this for, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I can't even get my words out. <laughs> so a Sand Force CQ would be doing a lot. As a... A jump kick only does, like, 62. That's underwhelming damage. Uh, I think I can go Pharaoh here. Or Tentacle and then Pharaoh. Because I really don't need Tentacle for much, and uh, I can for I can bait him to go for a turn, and then from there kill him with two Iron Barbs damage. Because I want Latios health more healthy than uh He might return here though. He doesn't really have a reason to not return. I think I'm just gonna go straight to Pharaoh. I don't need Pharaoh for anything. And Hippo can uh, be used as death fodder later on. There's no reason to sack it off here. But he does miss high jump kick, which is awesome. Ah, <laughs> oh, not bad. That makes up for the mineral. Because <laughs> honestly, both are quite significant. Well, despite me not needing Ferrothorn, but... I can get up a spike now against something, potentially, so that's awesome. He can definitely go Volk here, but he will take him a lot. Um, kind of expect him to go Mew and Defog if he has it. Oh no, he's gonna have defog on Latia, so he's probably just gonna defog here. Uh, definitely just gonna go into uh, Tyranitar though. I could also Gyro, but I don't want him being like HP fire and blowing me back. Because I do definitely think he's gonna be, uh, well, I'm not sure. But uh, I, I just didn't want to uh, take that risk. So, um, I think I'm just gonna crunch here. I honestly think he's gonna expect the pursuit to stay in. If he doesn't, then that's fine. I get a crunch off on something. He burned or not, it's still going to be doing decent damage. If he goes to Landris, it's chip damage. Chip damage is nice. But he does just stay in, as expected. And uh, Draco's, and he crits me. Awesome. I think I can get a slack off with uh, Hippo. I can also get up Rocks. Ooh. I'm gonna get my rocks back up. Let me get these rocks, that crit might help me. <laughs> oh, thanks friend, thanks for critting me. I'm hoping I take this, because I can get up my rocks again if, it, if I do. And I can spam them until he goes down to sand, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can. So I get, I get rocks if he doesn't crit me here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can take minus two Draco. I might not be able to actually. If I don't then it's whatever. But rocks would be really nice, especially the Volk. Which could be annoying if it sets up. Okay, so he is able to take me out, which sucks, but uh... And that's whatever, I'm just gonna go Zard Y. Uh, it beats two out the three of his Mons, and it stops Volcarina from setting up. Well, it doesn't set stop it from setting up, I say, but uh... It's the best matchup I have against Volk. He goes Mew, which is awesome. This could be like some weird Thunderbolt set, which could end up beating me. <laughs> but uh, I don't really have anything else to beat a Mew, so I'm just gonna Fire Blast regardless. So there could be some like weird E Belt set <laughs> with Ice Beam and Thunderbolt, which would be interesting. I don't know, I feel good. Volcarina can definitely be annoying, but. I don't think it can uh, carry my Charizard. I do hit Fire Blast, which is nice. As he's Baton Pass for some reason. <laughs> I don't understand Baton Pass there, but okay. Mew's not going to be doing much else for him, but I guess that was his best play there. So it does just go Landorus. Uh... Rock Polish could definitely be annoying here, but I think. Yeah, Rock Polish could beat me. Cause th but then I'd be forced into uh, Charizard. No, it's fine, because Charizard beats this anyway. So Charizard, Charizard's going to be a last resort answer to this. Uh, 
I think I can just sack Tentacle here though. And if he goes up to Mew here to try and soft boiled on me for some reason, then I can get up some toxic spikes for these. I actually take that. I was not I was not expecting to take that. Tentacle. <laughs> Putting in the work. Ah, not bad. This thing just took an earth hour from a land of us, what the hell? <laughs> Is this thing like not invested or something? But I'm just gonna go Latios and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna Psy Shock. Seeing the Slut Wave, I don't think he's gonna have knockoff. He might. But I don't really want myself to be at minus two. I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm at minus two, because I just have Zara Zard which comes in. But uh, he sacks this, which is fine. And I think I'm just gonna pull a switch straight into Zard here. That T spike is actually really nice for the Volk. Like really, really nice. So I'm glad I got that up. Uh, it's actually Lum, so never mind. <laughs> never mind then. So he does Quiver. Which is fine. Definitely just gonna Fire Blast here. Hopefully his Fire Blast won't be doing too much. I think it will though. Ow. Um, he's hit. So that does a lot. But. Actually, I think Latios walls him. Because he's not. Bug Buzz. So he's probably HP ground. How many turns does Sun Earth left? So I think I have to just go Latios here and uh, Psy Shock. As Fire Blast does not do enough, he does not burn me either, which is awesome. So it's going to come down to hitting Draco. Unless he's not Focus Blast. So I'm really hoping that I can hit. But knowing my luck, probably not. As I do hit, awesome. So that was actually a really cool game. <laughs> that was kind of fun. So GG to that one. But um, I think I'm just going to end this off here. I, uh, I don't have a lot of time. Um, so sorry this was a bit of a shorter live. But uh, hopefully all you guys enjoyed watching. And um, if you did, please make sure to subscribe. And leave a like. It does help support the channel. As uh, I am growing very, 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 very slightly better. <laughs> we will get there one day, boys. We will make it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you, um, guys, later. Peace.